The Nigerian Diaspora Direct Investment Summit, the NDDIS, hosted its 11th annual summit of actively facilitating business connections between diaspora investors and opportunities in Nigeria and Africa. Held in London, the summit attracted investors from various sectors across the United Kingdom and Africa. Attendees included business leaders, entrepreneurs, top government officials, dignitaries, community leaders, stakeholders, and members of the Nigerian and African communities in the UK. Otumba Bimbo Folaya Roberts, the founder of the NDDIS, played a pivotal role in organizing the event. Right now in the UK, we have so many Nigerian boxers that in the next few years, if they're given the right kind of support, they're going to be, you know, become world champion. So I want to throw it to the audience. How do we use some of these, um, you know, strengths, the NIT that these Nigerians have to generate direct uh, jobs? Uh, President's uh, assist, senior assistant in, uh, on job creation and, and development of MSMEs yes. was here. So we had a panel to discuss how to support the federal government to create more jobs in Nigeria yes. and to, what strategies we can put in place to promote MSMEs who actually recruit a lot of Nigerian youth. Hmm. The acting Nigerian High Commissioner, Dr. Sipron Hen, reassured the diaspora community of the Nigerian government's readiness to welcome and support diaspora investments. The government has always had this initiative of uh, uh, ease of doing business and uh, the processes are there. It's just for any investor okay. to look at them and key into them. Nigeria, of course, is um, diversified in the area of education, even a sector. Mm -hmm. We are diversified in agriculture and uh, uh, the government is encouraging investors to look at these areas. So um, mm. we, we, we welcome efforts in investing in the areas of agriculture, uh, renewable energy, education, health sector, uh, and so many uh, other areas that uh, you can think about. The summit featured business presentations, panel discussions, and networking opportunities for advertisers and business owners. So for example, in the UK, you have um, the UK government website, GovUK, where you can go in and, and all the different elements in terms of business hunting, visas and whatnot, it's all concentrated in one place where you can find information. Maybe that's something we need to look into because that will really help us. <laughs> then then there's information financing. We have Bank of Industry, Bank of Agriculture, we have Maestro. So the, the, the funding structures are from 14, 10, 9 percent. But the thing is, can the common man actually access it? The next thing we need to do is to make sure that the packaging of those products are good enough, you know, externally, that those abroad can find this could find these products very useful. And that way we are expanding business. We have a Nigerians for Nigeria project. It's worth something like seven billion dollars. We've brought it from an initial introduction that came through one of our members in Oxford and we've taken it to ministerial approval in this and the last government. What's fascinating is the way projects open up other projects. So no matter what you're talking about, no matter how small, the fact that you're making an initiative move forward opens the door for someone else to come alongside you. I'm really excited by the opportunities of Nigeria in the coming years. Key speakers included Mrs. Abike Dabiri Erawa, Chairperson and CEO, Nigerian Diaspora Commission, NITCOM, who was represented by Honorable Tarib Abdurrahman, Head, Technology, Transfer and Innovation, NITCOM. Senator Ubasani, Executive Governor of Kaduna State, represented by Maureen Okugu, Kaduna State Needcom Lison Office. Tim Robbins, former British ambassador in Africa and a senior trade advisor on Africa in the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, amongst other notable figures. If we can decide 
to use a particular brand of bag, a particular brand of shoe that can be determined here by their stores, to use by Nigerians in the diaspora, but we will produce back in a particular developed MSME. That small initiative will go a long way in developing a particular industry, improving its capacity, and at the same time making it sustainable with refinancing initiatives. I hope you have understood what I had to say. Because without you, Nigeria cannot progress. We will keep going backwards. So please, please, I have made it my mission to make sure I educate as much people as I can. I send people from the top right down to the grassroots, to seminars in different countries all around the world, because it opens their eyes, it gives them knowledge, it changes their perspective. Please. I believe that there, there is a younger generation coming up, both of course of Nigerians, of British Nigerians, uh, but also of types of business which we haven't seen before in fintech and other services, which where we will see real glo glo global leadership coming from Nigeria. So some of these investments will be really globally attractive. And so I think it's really a question of some investors some empowered members of the community here really getting a lead in actually investing back in Nigeria. Delegates and participants engaged in discussions on diverse business opportunities in Nigeria as well as available funding options. One needs to find a means of, of accelerating the house, housing production. And this is again a project that brings proven British technology with Nigeria and we hope UK export finance, which no, I don't think anybody's mentioned this yet, but there is a, a great deal of funding in the UK for Nigeria if one can meet the, the various criteria. I know Mr. Uh, Bimo also mentioned you know, a whole lot of Nigerians who are doing a lot in the diaspora. Even with us in uh, the room today, we have the great veteran. Ms. Tayo Lysette with us here today, who is definitely a great beacon, who is shining her star, always in the Nigerian and in the global community. Otumba Bimbo Falanya Roberts highlighted sectors beyond agriculture, crude oil, and manufacturing, such as Nollywood, music, sports, and the fashion industry, emphasizing their potential to create jobs for Nigeria's rapidly growing population. So it's a general uh, summit this year yes. uh, with coverage of almost all the sectors. Uh, so we are looking at the agricultural, we are looking at the IT sector, we are looking at different sectors. Health, fashion, uh, youth employment, insecurity, uh, every, almost everything. Particularly funding, that's the one that that's our flagship for this year. Um, the fact that we're able to say we have funders that are available is wonderful. Insights and support were also provided by the government representatives present. As you all know, the Nigerian government has declared a decade of gas. And the decade of gas is all about a private state. Because a private state sits on the largest deposit of gas reserves in the country. Nigeria has a proven reserve estimate of about um, 206.53 trillion cubic feet of gas. Now that we are aware of what is going on, the, the, the time is now on us to work with the, organize, the organizers of this program and ensure that um, <coughs> this is not just done in London. We will try as much as possible to partner with the organizers to take it to as many places as possible to sell Nigeria to them and say this thing. This, we know that this is what was obtainable in the past, but this is what this government is correctly doing to correct those wrongs so that people living in diaspora will be motivated to come in mass to and set up businesses in Nigeria. The NDDIS MD 
also announced a new philanthropic funding initiative for projects aligning with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, focusing on health and well-being, education and gender equality. If you are interested, we have forms. TSB, we have the forms with you. Yeah, so if you are interested, please um, raise up your hand and then they will give you uh, the forms. I'm sorry, the forms. And the forms that we're giving to you is just for you to fill in some information and give it to us straight away. Engage us immediately and then we start going to the next level. We will have meetings with you, we will interview you, we will look at your project. If it's not going to be successful, we tell you, we don't think this will fly. If it will be successful, we will then take it to the agency that is dealing with the funders. We will sit with them, they will look at it. If it's going forward, we will tell you that it's going forward and they start to process it. We have lots of people that attended our summit yes. and we've announced this new initiative uh, that there are, there are funds available uh, and it's called philanthropic funding. We've been giving the license to screen applications and to submit to the funders and um, a lot of people are happy they've collected the forms but for those who are interested um, all they need to do is just send an email to me to NDDIS info at NDDIS.co.uk or contact any NDDIS member and then we'll be able to process it for them going forward. The NDDIS Summit facilitates opportunities for stakeholders to explore potential collaborations in finance, technology and technical skills to promote enterprise and job creation in Nigeria and Africa. Exceedingly commendable. I want to say a very big thank you to my visioner, um, Chief Altumba of Lion, for putting this together here and here. And this is my first time of attending, and I'm exceedingly impressed with what I've seen. And I know that um, the major uh, the important thing now is for us to drive investments in into Nigeria. And I'm really, really proud of it. What is going on? It's been a beautiful session at the NDDIS um, event, um, Invest Africa, Invest Nigeria. Um, we good um, participation from the audience. I yeah, think maybe like a hundred people or thereabouts, you know. And not the kind of crowd that you will expect to be in this kind of event, right? So, you know, because it's a, it's a Nigerian uh, yeah. private owned business, we try as much as possible to see that we have that. Um, Relationship oh, yeah, with yeah, Nigerians yeah. in diaspora here in the UK. Um, yeah. We are here for Nigerians and we believe um, they own Airpiece. Airpiece is for Nigerians, it's not just a, yeah. a private business per se. Yes. So we want to encourage Nigerians to embrace this brand and make it your own household name, continue to fly with us, continue to um, speak good of the brand. It has really, really um, motivated me. I've been encouraged. I've met lots of um, um, other investors and business owners, business leaders, and Nigerians in the diaspora can actually invest in, in Nigeria. And that's what we do, and we've been doing it for many years, and supporting Nigerians in the diaspora to transition you know, into professional skills. A core focus of the NDDIS is to ensure the generation of sustainable employment across Africa. Thank you.